here tonight, Fox Business. We've got the GOP candidates are all facing each other. It's another presidential debate, and this time it will make or break a lot of candidates, particularly Jeb Bush. Now, he's out with a new campaign ad, and he's going right after Donald Trump. Roll tape. Life is precious. I think life is truly a gift from God, and we're all equal under God's watchful eye. That's what I believe. And when anybody, anybody disparages people with disabilities, it sets me off. That's why I called him a jerk. What kind of person would you want to have in the presidency that does that? At what point do we say, enough of this? Let's start solving problems. Special reports, Brett Baer. All right, uh, a tough Jeb. What do you make of it? Well, the ad is actually um, pretty powerful. A lot of people questioning why he didn't come out with it uh, uh, two months ago. Before that part that you played, there's a father of a, <coughs> excuse me, of a son with cerebral palsy uh, who had a real problem with Donald Trump on the campaign trail. What many perceived was making fun of a, a reporter um, who's handicapped. And, and I, I think that um, this ad, while powerful, a lot of people are looking at it and saying, is it too little too late for Jeb Bush? Uh, we'll see. The, Charles, I think the battle tonight is going to be twofold. One, Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, this whole birther thing, they're going to go back and forth. The New York mentality uh, and morality that Ted Cruz said of Donald Trump. So that'll be interesting. And then the other is the battle for the second place, the establishment lane, if you will. The Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, John Kasich, Marco Rubio, even Carly Fiorina could fit in there, uh, to, and she'll be on the, the first stage. But to, to affect New Hampshire and possibly coming in second there and uh, living on to fight another day. Yeah, I, 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 get, I get what you're saying, though, Brett, but at some point, and this is, I think, what the audience is hoping, we start to see fewer podiums. Uh, does the will start? Do we start getting in that direction? You didn't mention uh, Ben Carson, who feels like uh, you know, obviously the wills have come off, but in recent polls they've stabilized a little bit. Will this be sort of a last chance for for him? Could it be a last chance for some of the lower ranking one percent, two percenters? What will they linger after tonight if they don't make a big impression? Definitely. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to be after tonight. Uh, our debate in two weeks in Des Moines. Um, I, I think. The field is probably going to stay as is until first voting. I mean, I'm sorry, but after expect... after Iowa, though, they don't make that impression in oh, Iowa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think you'll see uh, Mike Huckabee, if he doesn't, you know, finish well there, Rick Santorum, uh, maybe even Dr. Ben Carson. Uh, you run into money issues. You run into uh, the, the case being made on the establishment side uh, of being able to consolidate that vote uh, to stand up to what looks like to be a, a, a runaway Donald Trump or Ted Cruz campaign. Uh, Brett, you mentioned uh, Jeb Bush. A lot of people saying maybe it's too little too late and really wonder why he didn't swing, fight back harder sooner. For the first time, we've seen flashes of anger, if you will, from Ted Cruz. Should he, should he ride that? Should he take it and run with it? Should he start punching back rather than being the nice guy who thinks he's going to, you know, he can ignore all of these assaults? Yeah, I think that's the most interesting dynamic tonight, what Ted Cruz does. In these debates previously, he has really uh, had a, a velvet glove uh, on Donald Trump, and I think that this may change tonight. Remember that the debate before Iowa last time, uh, early on, Tim Pawlenty was challenging Mitt Romney on the campaign trail, called it Romney care, uh, exactly like Obamacare, and and he said he was asked that on the debate stage, you know, if standing next to right. Romney, he could make that case. And he didn't. And he looked weak. Right. If Ted Cruz uh, doesn't swing, that's interesting. Can't wait. Hey, thanks a lot, Brett. Talk to you again soon. All right.